Hi everyone, it's Will Ryan of DA Games here, just making a vlog here to get something off my chest. Um, it's been around for quite a while and um, a lot of people have started uploading these vlogs lately. You know, there's a lot of things that I've been hiding, a lot of people, everybody's been hiding from the channel and it's time we cleared up a few, you know, emotions that we all have and what we all truly feel about what we do for the channel. I guess this kind of dates back to the beginning of how I started up on the internet and how I've dealt with a lot of hate, especially with the hate that we get on our channel lately. I started the internet 15 years ago on a website called Newgrounds. That was my birthplace where all my cartoons were going, where all my audio had gone, and it was an amazing community that everybody could just sit together and just appreciate what we have. Granted, back in the day, Newgrounds was a very troll-worthy place. Anybody could just shove anything online and it either got disliked or liked. But the fact was that it was a free community. When I started off doing my animation, I started doing it with the least experience possible. And people think that, you know, that, that talent just comes gifted. And comes when you were born. And things can just happen in a click of a finger. Back then, it was a lot harder to do the things that anybody could do because technology was limited. Our processing power on our computers would not be the way it was back in the day. We've got some high spec shit here. Let me just say, we've got some incredibly high, high expensive stuff that not an average eight year old would be able to handle. We would never be able to hold that kind of technology in our system. So the process for doing things was a lot short was a lot longer and through time I started going from low ratings to coming up with new ideas and all those ideas just escalated higher and higher and then started getting recognized and the ratings kept going up and I was dealing with a hard time trying to get up there the first time and I, I, I stress this enough I may have gotten famous now but this first time that I got famous was, well, before I dealt with five years of trying to be a father. That's what a lot of people forget, is that I'm actually technically a father. I have a daughter back in England whose name is Jessica LMA Ryan. She's the most beautiful soul. She's so energetic, she's so happy, a bit disruptive, but every kid is. And she just can't wait for her semester at school. And it's incredible. But during those five years, it was hell. Not for Jess, the person who I was with. And I know this, this sort of stuff should not be going online and everything like that. And no disrespect to any, anybody, but I was dealing with rough patches. I was not ready to be a father. I was not ready for the responsibility because I, I was so young. I, I rushed into things way too fast. And that's the consequence of just clicking your fingers. It's a responsibility that you have to fulfill. If you just suddenly click your fingers and then an animation is there, you've clearly got no animation. And then when we do something that really hits our heart, something that really goes out there on the internet, and we've put our heart and soul into it, it gets flagged, it gets badly viewed, badly rated, it offends a lot of us, but it's not your fault. It's your preference. Other YouTubers have it a lot harder than what you think. You know, it's a constant gate. It's not, again, the click of the finger. It's not as simple as that. It takes hours in your day to fulfill an idea, let alone edit that stuff together, mesh them together, add your color effects, add your effects from Premiere. Our music videos have to do a lot of rendering through Flash, then After Effects, then Premiere, then to get it online with a thumbnail. I mean, if you learn how to manipulate it and you can upload whilst making a thumbnail, that takes a lot off your plate as well. But that whole process takes a long while. And hardly ever do we get days off from what we do because we love, absolutely adore doing this for you guys. It's why we're here. A lot of us are here for the same reason, and that was for, to entertain, to make people happy, to give people moral life lessons, 
learning curves, something to do for when they're bored, just that kind of thing in the day I've always wanted to help make people happier. We have a community uh, on my Skype, you know, there's a DA Games community, small as it is, there's a lot of fights that go on. There's a lot of sadness around, and there's a lot of depression, and I'm always there to put my problems aside to help them, because what's the use in dwelling on your own problems when you could feel much more satisfying helping somebody else? But it's not just YouTube alone that's gotten me to do this. It's my personal life. A lot of people don't know what we do just to keep ourselves surviving. I mean, we go on whims a lot of the time. We just have ideas that just pop into our head. But manipulation of that is a completely different story. And from a personal life, when I first got famous with It's Time to Die for Five Nights at Freddy's 3 song, I wasn't proud of that. Why? Because I was, I was drunk and depressed. I was going through some terrible times back at home. And I was feeling really sad, really down, nobody was helping. So I drunk that night. When everybody was out and my ex had gone to Newcastle, I thought, you know what? Whilst I've got my time, I gotta start trying to be happy. And I did that, through, guilty enough, the consequence of alcohol. Alcohol has killed a lot of people, especially people close to me. Some of my family are suffering the consequence of it, and have suffered the consequence of it. And that's left me in the dark. My father died two years ago, and it never leaves my mind, because two years, nearly two years, has passed, and not one minute I go without forgetting who he was, and what an inspiration he was. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my dad's last conversation that we had. It was, keep everybody happy, make sure you're doing your job right, and continue with DA games. Or at that point, it was Diamond Armada. Those words touched me. And they still do today, because at that point, I was ready to give up. And I didn't. I didn't give up. Heck, I got a t-shirt for Diamond Armada to prove it. And a lot of people just don't know, and it's not your fault, because a lot of us are hiding a lot of things as well. Because what's worse, just letting you guys hear all of our shit stories? I know this vlog's putting a lot out of our reach and everything. This is not for you guys to hear. But it's time we got out of our chest since a lot of people are doing that now. A lot of people are expressing themselves and it's one of those one-off ones. There's a reason why we tend to keep you in the dark about that. It's because you don't want to watch a depressing channel. You came to our channel to have fun. A lot of you have come here for Five Nights at Freddy's. Granted, that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a given. Five Nights at Freddy's has been such an, a freaking famous game. It's been an amazing game. Scott has done many beautiful things with that. And I can't wait for his next project. I really can't. And the best part that what Scott could ever teach me was that it's not just a game. It's a community. If you can build a community that can come together and band, yeah, you might get hate, you might get happiness. That's what a community is all about. If you can keep a community together, there's nothing more privileging than just releasing a game and getting all the people together make them smile. And it's that that keeps me going, knowing that there's a purpose for what I do, whether small or big, I do something for the community. And the stretches I've had to take to get this far, as many of you know in my face cams, I've been in multiple different places. This is my home now. I used to live in England, in Leeds, West Yorkshire. I still go back there every now and then, but... I met Chloe through the internet. My voice acting friend had introduced me to Chloe. And for about two years we were talking, we were having such a laugh. And now we're together. 
more importantly, not just we're together, but <laughs> we're together in real life. This wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for you guys helping us out. We're deeply grateful for everything that you guys have done. Five Nights at Freddy's or not, you've been there. You, you don't understand how thankful I am. The fact that I was able to move to Ireland, take the biggest decision of my life, to leave my hometown where there was darkness and head for somewhere happier. You gave me that. And I'm not saying that I, I hated where I was, and not saying my parents were the reason why. There was no thing with my parents. This goes out to my mom as well, who, throughout all the time that, our da that my dad had gone, my mom has tried to keep the strongest face for all of us. My brothers, they've all been so supportive. My whole family has been supportive. But there was always this clash, there was always this big thing that happened, and I couldn't control it. Nobody could control it, and that's why I left. It was easier if I moved out, and I was able to come back every now and then. Because I was grown up, I was 23 years old, and I had to move out at some point. And because you guys had stretched that further for me, on this channel, you've changed my life. And I've got to thank you for that. And people don't understand how grateful we are. I mean, the hate that we get as well, it, it, there's a consequence with dealing with hate. You can't feed the fire. You can't always retaliate back because it's just gonna, it's, no, there's no point. There's no point in messing with a conversation that means nothing to you. Haters are gonna hate. That saying is there for a reason, it's not just there to just be one of those brush off your shoulder sort of situations. They're there for a purpose. They are gonna hate, there's gonna be haters out there. But if you learn to brush them off, and it's the hardest thing anybody could do. Heck myself, I look at a comment, I look at all of my comments on every one of my videos. Heck, Chloe does that for me as well. She's not here at the moment, but... Basically, she looks through and I look through my comments and we see the likes, we see the favorites, we see everybody giving us their full support, we do see haters. As little as they are, I mean really, as little as they are, we do get hate. But it's surprising how that one hate comment out of every other positive comment can be hurtful. It can still hurt. It's enough. As I, I will quote this from a great friend of mine, Zombie Wars, who posted a great video online. It's enough just brushing it off, but you know, you, you know, you hold on to that. You do hold on to that, and you start thinking later on. You know, I'll be happy-go-lucky to everybody's face. I have to be because I don't want to make people sad. I want to make people happy. And then when I lay down in my bed, I start thinking. You know, there's that free time to think then, and all that stuff that you've bottled up starts flushing through your head, and then you end up zoned out. But the most important part of having a community is that no matter what with those hate comments, the community who do support you are there to support you. They're there to call you out on how great you are and how you've inspired them to do something. You know how much that that is a privilege in itself and often people overlook that and I wanted to say for those who have been hating me and those who have tried to take my channel down and everything like that to be honest you've only made me stronger you've only made me stronger as a person and with the criticism that I get it's criticism that's what happens. If, if you're expecting wonders out of your channel, you have to take criticism. So, when hate comes, but for a legit reason, and there's some criticism to go by, it helps us. It really does help us. But when you're just saying, get the fuck off of YouTube, you're unsubscribing. One subscriber gone is kind of a big deal. We do get those big deals. It's not fair to a lot of people who put their hard work and effort in, but 
what makes you turn around at the end of the day and say, I'm continuing, is the community that you have, the family that have supported you, your friends who will always stand by you, and your passion. My passion was entertainment. My passion was music, animation, let's playing, voice acting, script writing, you name it. It was the only place I felt safe. When I was in school, I used to get bullied for everything that I did. I used to get told I'd never get anywhere. Wherever I worked, everybody was like, you'll never get anywhere, or it'll last a month or so. But I've managed to Bill Gates everything. People told me I wouldn't get famous. I got famous. People told me I wouldn't be able to keep going with this. I kept going with this. And people told me that I wouldn't be able to move to Ireland without having to come back and live back in Leeds forever. I've trumped it all. I've Bill Gates everything. <laughs> and that was only possible through perseverance. Without perseverance, you don't know what the outcome is going to be at the end. You want to be that guy that turns around to everybody and goes, Hey, I'm going to do this. And if it doesn't work, I just want there to be, you to be there to pick up the pieces. But I want to do this so I can learn from my own mistakes and make my own failures and successes in life. It's only that way that you'll be able to finally turn around and go, I did this all by myself, I know what's right and wrong, and I know that I pushed myself to do that myself. I urge all of you to do the same. It's enough me thanking you all so much for the amazing amount of support that we've been getting. It's giving that support back that I feel deep about. And I know that we're only famous for, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's. A lot of us are. You know, it's kind of a curse, you know, that, you know, our other videos are not getting as many views. But when you look back and see even those views are still getting higher than what most would get. And we should even be grateful anyway. You know, looking back, I am so grateful that even though it was Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott did wonders with that game, and Scott did wonders in making a community. And I'm so proud to be a part of that community. As much as I don't put it off, I don't want you guys to hear my personal side. Didn't. But I'm here now just to get out of my chest. It needed to be said. A, a, a lot of times, if you bottle yourself up and you don't end up telling people the truth, it can rile up inside. Now, the place you should go to, if ever this happens, is your family and your friends. The people who, you know, can hear this from you. These can see the real you. But oftentimes, there's that one chance that you get to say something in a video and get that told to everybody out there there's that one chance in which you can make someone happier and inspir inspired. I want to take that chance today. So here we are at 25 to 10 in the morning. <laughs> making a vlog about how I feel. About the, what the, how grateful I am about how you guys have stepped me up. And how I deal with hate. Where I've gotten to in the space of 15 years up until now it's not been easy but I have loved every single minute of it so if you're thinking about uploading videos on YouTube think about how much effort you put in push it push it to the bitter end keep going with what you're doing be inspired by the inspirees be, be bigger than them because I know all of you can do it all of you have the power. And if anybody else tells you otherwise, don't believe them. Because I believe in you. We, a part of the FNAF community, all believe in you. Thank you guys so much for letting me get that off my chest. Uh, if you like it, you know, leave a like down below and express your comments or anything. Shit. Fucking. Yeah, my pop filter is not the most stable right now. <laughs> this is a pop filter from another thing. But yeah, um... See, that's something that normally... You've seen a lot of cuts in this vlog anyway, but that... 
there's some things that you just leave in sometimes. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you at that. If you like what you saw, leave a like, put the comment down below, sub if you want. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna force you to sub, and um, I just hope you all have an amazing life. Thank you so much. Peace out.